Let everybody know your name and where you're from, man. What up, what up, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dada Doe, coming all the way from VA, by way of AZ, you know what I mean? I've been out here a whole part of my life, you know what I mean? And I've uh, been working on this music for such a long time, I knew it was time to switch it up, take it to the West Coast, you know what I mean? Work with a couple producers, uh, you know what I mean? You can check me out. And uh, if you're really into live performances, if you're really into uh, seeing somebody come up there, give it 100% and, and be about themselves and got a good story to tell, I'm definitely that artist. All right, no doubt. Who or what inspired you to become an artist and how did you get started? I started playing music in the, in the little high middle school band. And, uh, you know, they, they taught me how to read music and all that. But I didn't want to get into the marching band. So I started my own group with my neighbor, Steve O'Baskerville. Okay. He, um, we started, we was in like a little punk rock band, and we kind of grinded on that for like, I want to say 10 years straight. We played with a bunch of different groups. Monine, uh, you know, we, uh, Taking Back Sunday. Um, we ended up meeting up with Sun 41, Blink-182. I mean, uh, I had a chance to, to meet Green Day. That wasn't that fun. That wasn't that nice, but still a good band. Um, I'm definitely influenced by a lot of different things, man. Um, Blink-182 was like the thing that got me into music, like more okay. than anything. The hip-hop thing, that came later. Um, I Actually, the first record that I really got into that was hip-hop was Common's B album. That was produced all by Kanye West. I mean, we used to just sit around listen to that record on repeat. I mean, if you ever heard it. <laughs> no uh, doubt. Yeah. It, it, it's sick. And, and let's not forget the clips, Lord willing. Uh, okay. That record is is I mean if you're from Virginia you have to have heard that I mean uh, grinding you know what I mean I mean no. so many good so many good cuts off that joint right there man no doubt no doubt um how did you come up with the name Dot I Do Dot I Do uh, first time I heard Dot I Do was on Cameron's song Living a Lie off of Killer Season okay I used to love that <laughs> record man Killer Season was like I mean, yo, living a lie just by itself, you know what I mean? And he had went in on Jay and all that on that record, but he was like, I remember the line was like, da da do, that mean dropping and running, no fronting because the coppers is coming, like, you know what I mean? And like, that's really where I was in my life at that time, like, you know what I mean? We was in the streets, you know what I mean? Everybody was, was claiming to be the kingpin, whatever, whatever. But uh, I always, I always just thought that was cool. And, and when I came, when I wanted to do music, you know, it was like, I wanted to stand out. Anything that I was going to do as a solo artist, I definitely wanted to stand out. Okay. So I wanted something that nobody else had. I didn't want to be little somebody. I didn't want to be, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted to be something completely different. And I wanted it to be like a one phrase type thing. When you hear it, it's just synonymous, you know what I mean? Like, And, and that's all marketing and branding, you know what I mean? So that's okay. definitely one of a kind type thing right there. All right, no doubt, man. Let people know about the Mid-Atlantic Tour that you got going Mid -Atlantic on right now. Mid-Atlantic Tour, that is going on right now. Tonight is definitely the last stop. I want to shout out to the Canal Club. I want to shout out to Bayside. Um, Bayside, I want to shout out uh, Poor House, man. Everybody out here has been showing me a lot of love, and, and that's really what I came out here looking to do, man. Um, just, you know, I've been out there bubbling this sound. And I figured, you know, I'm going to come over here and just showcase, see what the people think, you know what I mean, hometown. I mean, I, I let people know that I am doing this for Virginia, you know what I'm saying? And no matter where I am, okay. Virginia is in my heart. So, yeah, you can definitely check me out tonight at uh, the Poor House in Raleigh, North Carolina. Doors open at 9. Uh, We're going to have a good time. I will be headlining that show. Okay. Um, so I'll be on a little later, and but guarantee that I am going to tear that. I'm going to tear it down, man. I'm definitely going to tear it down. <laughs> ain't no problem with that. No doubt, no doubt, man. Uh, what artists and producers have you worked with so far, man? Oh, man. Uh, I've worked with a couple of people. First of all, shout out to Precise Thoughts. Precise Thoughts no laced doubt. me, uh, PT. He did lace me with so many good gems. I mean, he could give these songs out to anybody. He happened to be my cousin, you know. Shout out, shout no out doubt. to DJ, you know what I mean? Uh, he, he hooked me up with two songs. Um, those songs right now, Bubbling, you can check it out on my own. You can check out Dreamer. Um, I've also worked with Beans Records. Yo, shout out to Nomada and Mario. Uh, those guys have pulled me up on the stage. You know what I'm saying? I know they remixed one of my songs already okay. with a little rock influence. You know what I'm saying? So that you know that that's 
That reminded me of my roots a little bit, so shout out to them. Also, shout out to BHP, that's Big Heat Productions. I'm on a song, I'm on a new uh, CD, it's called uh, That Guy, Track 7. Okay. And you can get that anywhere on the internet. You just type that in, it's called Doubt. So you can go check me out on that right there. And them boys, yeah, they, they definitely going to be next. They definitely next up. Okay, no doubt. What artists and producers would you like to work with? Oh, man. Uh, whew. Yo, honestly, for real, I mean, I ain't gonna lie. My biggest inspiration that I kind of like always get stuff from is Pharrell, you know what I mean? Skateboard Pete. Okay. My man, you know what I mean? Out of Virginia Beach. Um, I would like to work with Tim. I know Timberland is um, doing a couple of things right now, too. Um, I also would like to work with Lex, Lex uh, Luger out of Suffolk. Suffolk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No doubt. That boy right there got a lot of good sounds. Um, anytime I, I actually like to. to messing around with his beach. I mean, a lot of people listen to it and they think it's trap, but for me, I hear a big metal influence in it, you know what I mean? It's almost like apocalyptic cinematic. I always say no matter, we making movies with the music, you know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely painting a picture, and if you don't have that setting, if you don't have that backdrop, you know what I mean? It's just not going to come across right. So those producers always lace you with like uh, a sound that's tailored uh, definitely to yourself, and I'm definitely getting in the studio for like a week or two with Precise Thoughts. I'm about to head out there, Sacramento, and uh, we about to get in there, just order a bunch of damn food, and just lock ourselves in there, <laughs> come out with a project, so that'll be on the way soon. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, speaking of skateboarding, man, you know, I know you got a lot of background in skateboarding. How do you feel about the uh, the artists that are rapper turned skateboarders, you know? Like all of a sudden, compared to somebody like you, you've been doing it, you know what I mean, since way back in the day. You way know? back, man. I yeah. actually uh, got the skate park built out here in my little hometown, you know. Okay. Um, did that when I was in like high school, like my little last year of high school. Um, skateboarding has definitely been a big, big, big part of my life. I mean, skateboarding is is a is is an art within itself. And the thing about skating is that nobody is the same. Okay. So I I feel like skating needs to be adopted a little bit with the music scene. You know what I mean? I, it's a lot of people that. They beg for something different. They want something different. They want to hear a new sound. They want to, and then when you give it to them, they feel like, oh well, I, you know, this is different. I don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it is a little weird for for people who who necessarily hadn't been about that life. But skateboarding is so impactful and it's so big on the community, no matter where you are. I mean, it gives poor kids something to do, man. You know. Rich kids, it's really no barrier with that. So it's definitely international. It's worldly. I mean, any and everybody can skate, man. And and, and it's physical. It's it's an extension of your soul. You know what I mean? It's not all about who's the best, but okay. what you can bring. And so I mean, shout out, shout out to anybody that want to get in the skate community <laughs> right now. You know what I'm saying? I totally understand, man. Okay. It's good people in. It's good people in there. Okay, okay, no doubt. Absolutely. Um, let people know where they can go online and follow you at. Oh, absolutely, man. You can always check me out. I'm 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 a big tweeter. Twitter cat. You can yeah. I'm tweeting all day. Uh twitter.com forward slash dot I do D A D A D O H. You can check me out on Facebook, dot I do. You can basically just just Google, Google yeah. Dot I do D A D A D O H. I mean I got web shows, I interview bands, I uh do comedy. Man, I got Ustream. I'm always Ustreaming live no matter where I am. Okay. Um, Tumblr. My Tumblr is really big. So if you want to get a look into my mind, dot dot oh dot Tumblr dot com and just check the archive. That's everything I'm thinking about on a daily basis, man. From Virginia to the women to the music to the skating to the food. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's all about life and I'm living it. You know what I mean? No doubt, no doubt. Um, let people know where they can go online and hear your music at. Absolutely. You can check me out at soundcloud.com forward slash dot dot oh. Everything up there is right now demos, but uh, I'm getting a really good response off that. I mean, anytime I book a show, I tell the people, yo, go check me out on SoundCloud. If they like the music, they definitely throw me on that set. So, so far, it's been a lot of sets I've been throwing on. And these are just the demos. So, I mean, we still got the mixtape, my personal mixtape coming out. And then we also got my album that I'm working with through iTunes, where anybody can get that anywhere. I don't care if I got to buy iTunes cards for everybody. <laughs> no. We all going to get that album, you know what I'm saying? So. Absolutely, and then I definitely want to get a couple people on there. I know a couple people from home here, okay. they get down on the mic, man. So, no I mean, we're gonna get everybody on there, you know what I'm saying? This is just not for me, this is for the whole state, man. I mean, I'm representing VA, Virginia, from from DC all the way down to Southfield on the Carolina border, from, from the mountains all the way to the beach. So, 
um, yeah, man, we, we all about to have something we can we can grip on to. All right, no doubt, man. You got any shout-outs you want to give? Oh, yeah. Special shout-out to uh, Xantho Productions. Uh, she making me look good over there in Phoenix, man. She, I, get, I get in front of that camera, and I can't do no wrong as long as she <laughs> holding it. Um, special shout-out to, yo, BHP. Shout-out to Precise Thoughts again, man. I can't thank them enough. Uh, shout out to yo, my man Just Ja just dropped the uh, ass Ben Taylor. Everybody named Mama know about that Ben Taylor record, man. If you don't no know, I, I suggest you check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dream. Shout out to man. The list goes on, bro. You know what I mean? Just yeah. everybody out there right now that's real, being genuine, and that's really giving it a hundred percent, man. Shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? And you know, hit me up, man. Maybe we can work together to do the damn thing. You feel me? All right. Absolutely.